Hi, Poppy. Yay. Hi, Fern. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, actually. I feel like I was just saying, I was finding it like most parents of young kids, um, overwhelming. But because we'd been homeschooling for so long and the kids have been off for like nearly three months, yeah. I got used to being in a state of overwhelm. So now I'm in a really floaty, chilled out sort of um, mode. Even though work's pretty hectic, I feel so much less stressed. <laughs> I'm yeah real. how I are you doing yeah i'm all right i've just taken my son to school um and then it, it's funny isn't it getting back into the routine of life you know i can't imagine what it's like having you know multiple children i just have one and he's quite old now but yeah i feel i feel for all the mums out there the dads you know doing all this it's been mad and i think we had got used to feeling pretty stressed and that was the mm -hmm. norm and yeah and now it's like oh god you know we really do need and I think this is why I like doing sessions like this right I think so many of us still struggle with believing we deserve time out or believing mm -hmm. that we deserve to step off the merry-go-round or that we deserve to do something just purely for us you know that's going to make us feel okay and that's why I'm really enjoying introducing lots of different people um like yourself to the, the people that are following me on Instagram to really just encourage a little moment out. If you can't do this live now, fine, you know, do it later when it's on the feed. But I think so many of us find it hard to believe we deserve it. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. But we require it. We really do. We, we need it. I think we need it to then function normally. I mean, do you find that that's a problem for a lot of people that you're coaching that that sort of self-worth element? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a big one because we're kind of built to have these conditions around our worth, right? So it's, um, if I do this, then this might happen. And if I feel like this, then I'm worthy of this. So it's never, it's never unconditional. So for me, it's always like peeling back the layers that we are worthy and we don't need any of those things to be something. We are the something already. Yeah. yeah. And, and and that, you know, I really love looking at the subjects. It's not only, you know, like you say, like when I, if we put it into context, like if I get this job, then, then everything will be okay. Or if I just keep working harder or if I get this partner or whatever, it actually goes the other way also into, you know, I don't need fixing. We yeah. don't need fixing. We all think that we're so faulty and we need fixing. We don't need fixing. Yeah. We just don't. Like we're we're fine as we are. We're all fallible humans we're all gonna make mistakes we're all gonna have weaknesses we don't need fixing no we don't absolutely not right now my puppy is sort of hanging out with an old toilet roll and i can see it doesn't <laughs> like an old sock hanging around and it's like so what it doesn't affect so what? anything about who we are you know and why it we're doesn't. here no it exactly exactly that it we don't need to be defined by anything quite frankly we're perfectly fine and okay as we are and i think that anything we can do to remind ourselves of that like a tapping session yeah. like taking 10 minutes out to just look around us hear the sounds and not be you know constantly on our phones you know good that we're on our phones right now because we're doing something <laughs> hopefully really positive yeah. with it but maybe after we've done this session everyone can take a break from their phones and just enjoy being with not with nothing else just being you know we we're so used to doing aren't we that we forget the being bit yeah 100 percent. yeah and tapping is all about being you know it's about getting us back into our body you know it is somatic so it's about feeling the connection between mind body and what that really means and closing off the mind for a little bit so that we can be like ah oh, okay this is how i'm meant to be so for someone that's never done tapping before just ex just sort of explain to us wh what it is what it does how it works yeah so it's sort of like a blend of modern psychology so sort of talking about something and energy psychology so that's really you know meridian lines through our body and more kind of eastern ways of working with our emotions and, and, and just our feelings. And it's really a kind of blend of science, neuroscience, because it works with the, with the brain, and I think spirituality. So it's like the cusp of where it meets. And it's very practical, it works. You tap on ends of the meridians that go through your body as you feel an almost trigger 
you know, a very real emotion and use wording um, like cognition to kind of make that happen in a really amazing way that interrupts cycles and patterns and habits and just conditioned ways of going through life. So it's super exciting and not a lot of people know about it, but I find that it's interesting. More and more psychologists I speak to, or even work with neuroscientists, so a lot of them are bringing this in as an addition to all the other therapies that are going on because it really works quite well. It's yeah. so cool. Uh, you know, because I only properly understood what it was about really this year, I guess, um, through finding out about you and, and Nick Ortner. Mm -hmm. And um, before, I think I saw it as something that people just did on planes when they were nervous about flying for fear. <laughs> and now I've realised it's so much more and it, and, and it can link to whatever you want, really, whatever you feel you're cognitively stuck with or struggling with. And, and that's why I like it. It's really versatile. So, so should we get into some tapping? I, I'm going to just go for it and do whatever you tell me to do and enjoy this session like hopefully everybody else. And like I always say before we do something like this where I close my eyes and and go off into my own world you know do try and do it if you haven't before you know if it, if it feels strange or you feel really super aware that you're doing something weird just don't worry about it no one's watching no one's listening it doesn't matter you know you don't have to I'm not going to turn the comments off because I, I, I'm not into that you know if people want to comment fine we can ignore it um but I urge you all to give it a go and give yourself this this time out and and see how it affects your day and maybe this is something then you'll want to do daily or weekly whatever um but Poppy I'm gonna hand over to you brilliant amazing yeah I love that because it is a bit it is a bit silly you know yeah. got, it is silly it's like what we're tapping I remember when I did it the first time long long time ago I was like what yeah it's so embarrassing um <laughs> but you know I think I think it's just like yeah just let it go for a minute and just just go with it see how it works absolutely all right so if are you fern all right if you repeat what I say so yes everyone can try and, yeah um and there's a thing with tapping called borrow benefits which means that if we tap along with say we're tapping now if everyone's tapping along and thinking about their own issue or anything that they want to work on or tap on it actually also affects them so it's it's this beautiful like amazing thing where the energy of what we're doing right now people can also tap into so yeah everyone just think about your thing but we can obviously work with something ourselves as well. okay yeah. okay cool so how are you feeling Vern? how are you feeling <laughs> um, you know i'm feeling chilled out and I yeah. don't normally say that but I feel like I hit a wall Friday and now I'm I'm feeling much more relaxed and I and I I guess what I want to do <clears throat> is embrace that rather than mm -hmm. my inclination normally is to fight against that like oh you're not going to be as productive blah 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 I kind of want to relax into that and go with it nice okay so maybe if we set as a bit of an intention that we want to feel quite content and focused and productive um, and then what we'll do is work on clearing bits that are kind of in the way of that. Yeah. Um, that sounds like quite a good one. Love. Right. Great. So we'll start off with um, sort of introducing the kind of scale that we use. So it's really about um, the thing about tapping is it's our bodies sort of forget the change that we've created. So um, I like to use a little scale to kind of measure where we're at. So if you imagine we've got like zero is like flat lining, neutral, um, and then right at the top plus 10, you've got I'm feeling total bliss and joy right now. And then if you really are quite honest, you might be in the minus and go all the way down to minus 10, which is like, actually, I feel terrible and in maybe despair or however that feels for you. So if, if, if you could like think about where you're at with that, when you think about and trigger within you and this sort of feels a bit weird sometimes for people because we do go with the negative but like they say you've got to you've got to see the dust before you can clean the house yeah. so it's useful even if you're feeling like there's some nice things coming and we can work with those like you're feeling a bit more chilled it's important to kind of look beyond that and deeper into like subconsciously is there something that's still playing on your mind or getting on your nerves or worrying so if, you know, if you just tune into that now, maybe just close your eyes and place your hands over your heart and just think about that for a minute. And then just give yourself a kind of 
guess at where you might be on that scale, on that frequency scale right now. Good. And then if everyone marks where you are as well, if you want to pop it in the chat, that's good. Fern, what, what do you reckon you might be? I reckon I'm at a five today, which is quite good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, great. So the only thing we need to think about really is just boosting that ever so slightly. Even if it's just one mark, that's worth it because you're raising your frequency. You know, you're changing your energetic state which means that you see more possibilities around you and it just helps your emotional well-being. So that's the intention. So if that's your intention, just kind of set that in now that that's possible for you. Okay, great. And then just opening your eyes, having a little stretch. Yeah, just coming into your body a bit. It's good to have a little sip of water. It's always good with tapping. Energy work works better. It's proven if you uh, if you have water and you're hydrated. So uh, you know it's good. Um, so eyes open. My form of tapping is like quite um, sometimes provocative because I think sometimes when we say things, it's about choosing whether they're real for us. So sometimes it's about saying statements and going, well, how true does that feel? That's what we're always trying to do. So it's kind of like, if we say something, is that true for us? That's a real affirmation then. You know how you say an affirmation sometimes and you're like, I don't believe that. Like, yeah. Yeah. And you're just doing it. What tapping does is it's, it's really bringing out a true affirmation for you. So that's what we'll work to seal in at the end. So keep an eye on how true something feels for you when you say it. And if I use words that don't feel right for you, feel free to not use them, change the wording as you see fix. It's more powerful if it's you. Okay? Okay. All right, good. So we'll start off by holding our heart and just moving your hands slightly out. We see the collarbones and underneath the collarbones, there's like two spots and they're called sore spots. So you rub them. Can you feel them? Yes, yeah, tense. That's right. Yeah. They're actually called sore spots and they feel a bit sore. And just massaging on these helps us to kind of just get ourselves set up, you know, without going into detail. This is just really setting you up for a good tap, really. Okay, so on these points, I'm going to fill in the blanks with you so you can just kind of say how you're feeling. Right, so I feel... I feel more relaxed than normal good okay and why is that because because my kids are at school <laughs> <laughs> okay and let's think for a moment that we're going to go back into uh kids being at, at home with you all the time how did that actually make you feel what were you battling with that i felt unbelievably overwhelmed all day and if i'm really honest a lot of guilt because i felt i wasn't doing a good enough job mm. yeah yeah okay got it so let's not ignore that because that's still there somewhere okay so we'll maybe bring that in a bit because i know that's happening for a lot of us at the moment yeah yeah okay so even though i feel this overwhelm even though I feel this overwhelm. Because my kids have been with me all day. Because my kids have been with me all day. I choose to love and accept myself anyway. I choose to love and accept myself anyway. Even though I can sometimes feel overwhelmed. Even though I can sometimes feel overwhelmed. Because there's a lot going on. Because there's a lot going on. I choose to love and accept myself anyway. I choose to love and accept myself anyway. Even though sometimes I can feel overwhelmed. Even though sometimes I can feel overwhelmed. Right now I'm feeling a little more chilled. Right now I'm feeling a little more chilled. And I choose to believe that this is how I feel right now. 
And I choose to believe this is how I feel right now. Yeah, good. So then move that like into a collarbone tap. So we're going to tap here. So just under your collarbones. Yeah, okay. So this is how I feel. This is how I feel. That's okay. And that's okay. All these feelings. All these feelings. That I have right now. That I have right now. Are valid. Are valid. And I choose to love and accept myself. And I choose to love and accept myself. Moving to the forehead. All these emotions. All these emotions. All these emotions. All these emotions. Just noticing them now. I'm just noticing them now. Any overwhelm? Any overwhelm? Any stress? Any stress? It's okay. It's okay. It's been a lot going on. It's been a lot going on. And I've had my children all day, every day. And I've had my children all day, every day. Juggling so much. Juggling so much. Juggling so much. Juggling so much. And that's okay. And that's okay. And that's how I felt. And that's how I felt. And that's how I feel sometimes. And that's how I feel sometimes. I'm just a human being. I'm just a human being. Just a human. Just a human. With all these emotions. With all these emotions. And that's okay. And that's okay. So just placing your hand on your heart, take a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. And then just noticing any change and just letting your body recalibrate. And then just let me know how you're feeling now and what feels true for you as an emotion right now or a feeling. Yeah, I, I, I feel, I can feel like, I feel quite sort of buzzy and high really. Um, and I found the massaging bit really intense, like it felt quite overwhelming. Um, yeah, and I, I think it allowed me to feel it was all right to have the overwhelm rather than go into this narrative of, well, oh, people have it way worse. What are you moaning about? You know, and the, 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 the shame and guilt story on top of it. So that, that helped relieve that, I think. Mm. Really good. And is there anything else that's coming to mind for you that feels like you'd like to tap on? You know, always my thing is wanting to cultivate more self-love. I think most of us struggle with that one. Mm. Um, I, I might be generalizing, but maybe more so with women. We just are so hard on ourselves and believe that there's something wrong with us or that we're not worthy of liking ourselves. And I think the more work I do in this area, the more I realize that self-love is literally the key to everything. Mm. I just think it's the key to fixing or not fixing, because I've already said we're not using that word today, but you know, <laughs> it's gonna help us with all the stuff we struggle with. Yeah. Like self-love is gonna be the one thing that gives us better relationships, better dynamics at work, you know, a better way to raise our kids because they see us loving ourselves. Like I just know that I need to to feel that more. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. So let's try that as a statement. 
as an affirmation, right? And we'll just truth test it. So if we say, I fully and utterly love myself, where are you at if 10 is 100% and zero is absolutely not? Five again, I think. Um, because although I'm really willing to look at this and embrace bits of myself, I know that there's a habitual element that is just has, is almost omnipresent that's been there for so long because it's such a habit to go, you know, you're doing this wrong or that's bad or, you know, it's just there underneath everything. Mm. Mm. And that's the bit I want to clear. Okay, got it. Yeah. So let's tap. So we're going to go up here and say, even though, even though I have things I want to clear, I have things I want to clear. And I don't feel like I fully love myself. And I don't feel like I fully love myself. Because I don't feel fully because I don't feel fully worthy. Worthy. Because. Because. And then just see what pops up. Even though I feel this way. Even though I feel this way. I choose to love and accept myself anyway. I choose to love and accept myself anyway. I choose to feel enough anyway. I choose to feel enough anyway. Maybe I could be enough as I am. Maybe I could be enough as I am. Even with all the guilt. Even with all the guilt. And everything that's happened to me. And everything that's happened to me. Maybe I could. Maybe I could. Maybe I couldn't. Maybe I couldn't. Maybe I'll never fully love myself. Maybe I'll never fully love myself. Maybe that's impossible. Maybe that's impossible. Is it impossible? Is it impossible? Yeah, it's totally impossible. Yeah, it's totally impossible. I need to be perfect. I need to be perfect. Then I'll love myself. Then I'll love myself. Or is that true? Or is that true? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I choose to love myself anyway. But I choose to love myself anyway. I choose to celebrate myself. I choose to celebrate myself. Because I'm just a human being. I'm just a human being. Just getting through this life. Just getting through this life. So I'll just give a smile right now. So I'll just give a smile right now. Just for everything. Just for everything. And I choose to love and accept myself completely. And I choose to love and accept myself completely. Just holding your heart. Take a deep breath in. And release. Hmm. Just letting that recalibrate a little bit in your body. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. I found that, um, like I'm sure many did, quite emotional because I think we all hold such, you know, negative beliefs about ourselves, even in the subconscious. And it's really interesting to challenge that. Mm. And <clears throat> it's really interesting to question the beliefs we have about ourselves that are so embedded and so well we think it's such a big part of who we are but that's often not the case so 
I'm really up for, for challenging that and looking at it some more. And, you know, I, I've done a, so much digging around in my life through either therapy or just the work that I'm doing now in my career that I know the root of some of it. You know, I, knew, I know the root of some of it is I've been in the public eye since I was 15. You know, I've had other people tell me what they think of me for so long that your ideas about yourself do get conflated. And if you're a sensitive person, which I am a massively sensitive person, but also I can't completely um, put all the responsibility on other people. You know, I know that I'm accountable for so much of that and how much I've chosen to take on. Mm. And I think the age I'm at now, I, I really want to look at that and look at how I have confidence in what I know rather than everybody else is right and I'm wrong the whole time. Mm. And I think, again, like being at a pivotal point, I'm going to turn 40 this year, um, I'm really up for giving that a go and for being a bit more intuitive and um, going with what I know about myself rather than listening to the outside noise in life this is not just mm. for people in the public eye this is for everybody who has family friends <clears throat> is on social media I think it's really important that we that we take a look at how much power we choose to give over to other people mm. um so I feel more excited about it than daunted which is good yeah I love that so at this point people might be crying and releasing. And like you say, you feel emotional and that's a good thing. It's really good because it's releasing stuck energy. And sometimes we don't need to know or analyze what that is. It's just energy that has been like almost like in that trigger point. And it works with a part of our brain that stores quite a lot of this emotional response. So it's really good if you're feeling at, at a point where you're releasing stuff, to notice then what's coming up. So you've had excitement come up. Yeah. Yes. So then that's like, that's great. So then we want to look at, you cleared something. So then you want to create in the space that you've cleared. So now we'll work to seal in with tapping the excitement. So you can feel that even more going through your body. So yes. it's creating new neural pathways, which is like, actually excitement is something that I can cultivate. And I know what it feels like. So you're almost telling your subconscious that this is okay. It's really safe. It's okay. You've cleared some space and now we can get excited about the possibilities of what's next. That's so cool. That's so cool. I don't think I've thought of it in that way. That's so cool. Yeah. So should we do a little sealing in thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's seal yeah. that shit in. <laughs> <laughs> let's seal that shit in. Let's zip shit. it in for life. Yes, let's seal it in. So it's that little <laughs> nudge that you feel when it's something clears and it's like, woo. Okay. Yeah, that's what we want to work on for the scene, yeah, yeah. right? And then we'll do a rapid tap, which is like how I do it, which is like moving into that manifesting of that emotion, okay? Right? Okay, into the state. okay. So okay. It's a little bit faster, it's a little different energy, okay? okay. <laughs> so we start with our, rubbing our hands and also wiggle your toes, yeah? Feel where you are on the surface of the floor and just get into your body a little bit because this is the bit where we want to in our bodies okay so rubbing your hands together keeping it moving we're gonna basically place our hands over our heart and take another deep breath in and then proper sigh exhale like you're releasing all of that old stuff okay so here we go deep breath <sighs> <sighs> beautiful and then moving out to the tap on our collarbone and saying I feel some excitement I feel some excitement I feel it in my body I feel it in my body and where do you feel it in your body fern solar plexus Ooh, I feel excitement in my solar plexus I feel excitement in my solar plexus all this excitement all this excitement all this possibility all this possibility I feel it in my solar plexus I feel it in my solar plexus. It feels good. It feels good. I feel excited. I feel excited. I feel excited. I feel excited. I feel it in my solar plexus. I feel it in my solar plexus. I'm feeling powerful. I'm feeling powerful. I'm ready. 
I'm ready. I feel excited. I feel excited. All this excitement. All this excitement. Making me smile. It's making me smile. I feel it in my body. I feel it in my body. I can feel it. I can feel it. I choose to feel excited. I choose to feel excited. It feels true for me. It feels true for me. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yes, I'm excited. Yes, I'm excited. And I can feel it. And I can feel it. I'm really feeling excited now. I'm really feeling excited now. It's making me smile. It's making me smile. It's almost making me laugh. It's almost making me laugh. And I can feel it in my body. I can feel it in my body. <laughs> yeah, right, holding your heart, take a deep <laughs> breath, let it go. <sighs> just notice your body, just notice where you're feeling. How are you feeling now, Fern? Yeah, like really good vibes. Good. Like, God, sometimes we need to have, like, be given permission to just feel good. Yeah. And to feel excited and to feel like everything's good. Do you know what? Like, to be given permission to, like, feel hopeful and excited is really what we all need at the moment. And sometimes I think we feel like we can't, like it's not allowed or it would be weird to. But I think it's so <laughs> wonderful to, like, encourage that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we should. This is our natural state. You know, without all of that other stuff, if we clear it, we're creating space and then we go, boom. Let's give ourselves permission to do it. So then we would do another tap through, you know, we would be like, right, I give myself permission for that. Yes. And then in this state, you're like, okay, let's just check now how your frequency is. So if you think of that scale again, and it's like minus 10 to plus 10, where are you at? I'm feeling about eight, I reckon. Um... I'm feeling about a, and, and you know what? It's just clicked in my head as well. Like why I think often we don't allow ourselves to feel excited is because we're already creating what's going to go wrong beyond that. Like mm. that's so, it's quite a British thing as well. Like, Oh, don't get too excited. It might not happen. Don't get too excited. You might fall short. Don't get too excited. It might all go wrong. And it's like, no, let's just feel excited or feel excited for no reason. Let's just feel excited about, possibility potential like what's in the future like that's not foolish that's not naive that's that's like taking positive risks and mm. just having a positive mindset and I, I i often don't allow myself into that space and this has made me really realize like it's okay to do that and i used to do it all the time as a teenager and as a kid like so excited about everything it was just excitement <laughs> yeah. and i think when you have bad stuff happens, things go wrong, you know, massive, um, you know, big patches of whether it is depression or just things feeling really awful, that can stop you doing it for a long time. You think, oh, I'm never getting excited again, that something bad could happen. But it's, it's good to feel excited. Yeah, yeah, it is, because then we make different choices. Yes. Because then you're like, right, well, my energy has shifted i see it like this flow a little bit which is like you got your thoughts you repeat those those thoughts become feelings then it's like you and the feeling no one can really tell yet but you've started to bring that in as a feeling state then it becomes like an energy frequency other people yeah. catch that and then from that point you're making decisions you know you're taking action and then from there, you're getting your results and your reality around you. So we're, we've always got somewhere to go, right? Because we can go back a few steps and go like, hey, what a minute, let's just recalibrate it. Because if it's a belief, we can, we can start to shift it and change it, which is really Yeah. Fun. And I definitely felt that, that, you know, not only cognitively did I get into that state, but I still feel that buzz now. Like I, that my energy is different. I can feel you know, maybe a lightness and a, a bit more ease in my physical body and it, and the energy, like it, I can feel it. I can absolutely feel it. You know, I, I'm very sensitive to other people's energy and just the energy of what's going on the societal level. And I think it's good that we can, we can remove ourselves from that if we want and we can cultivate our own little, you know, buzz of energy. And, and that's empowering to know that. So God, that was bloody brilliant. <laughs> I love yeah. that. 
Yeah, I it's love a, bit that. Of a buzz, isn't it? It's a buzz, and we all need a free natural high when we can get it. You know, do that rather than anything yeah. else, guys. Well, that's true. Um, you know what? That was so wonderful. I'd love to do this again, Poppy. That was really, I mean, selfishly for me, that has now set me up. I've got a really busy day of, of work before the kids get back from school. And I'm like, oh, before I was a bit like, oh, God, I've got to do this and that. And and now I feel like, no, I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm good for it. And I can see so many other people absolutely love that as well. And, and, it, and if you've just tuned in live, don't worry, I'm going to put this on the feed so you can do this whenever you want. You can do it every day if you want it's not going anywhere so and do go follow poppy on instagram because poppy will be doing this sort of thing all the time and you can enjoy her sessions and and learn from her as well so i'm talking about you like not here sorry poppy um <laughs> but but do do go follow and thank you so much and i just so needed that i don't think i realized how much i needed that yeah yeah we don't we kind of forget but, you know, it doesn't take long, does it? That's the thing. No. It's interesting. And it's kind of just getting real about where we are. Even if we feel like, you know how, like, you were like, yeah, I want to, I feel good. I feel chilled. I want to feel productive. It would be easy for us to just force that. Like, I'm feeling productive. But actually, when you go back a step and you actually go, well, hang on, is there something that I just need to clear first? Then everything that comes out is really true. Yeah. And now it's like, that's true. I actually feel hopeful and excited. And I can do this. And I'm feeling empowered now. Yeah, exactly. It's not just a wish. It's a feeling. Like you, you've, And like we said, we've sealed that shit in for the day. Sealed the shit in. Yeah. <laughs> love it. I love um, it. That was so amazing. Mm. And I'd love to do this again. Poppy, thank you so, so much. <laughs>